If you believe George Floyd's death was staged while believing your zombie man god's crucifixion is totes legit, I'll pray for you. So this, this is a thought. Let me put a meme up on the screen right now that I just made, made the other day. Just after looking at a few things, it's, it's, I think I've used it before in a different video. But anyway, I'm going to keep using it because it's going to make some sense here. It's somebody with a cross. It's that meme from, um, what's that show? The Office, the American version of The Office, where it's like corporate is holding, this is the meme template. Corporate is, two pictures are being shown and then I think it's Beth or something. I don't, I never watched the show. But the, 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 the woman or the actress or the character is, is like, oh, it's the same picture. So it's one picture of a, a, a white woman with a, with a cross. You can just see it's, 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 a, it's a female chest with wearing the crucifix, signifying that she is, or it is a symbol or the main symbol, the primary symbol of the religion of Christianity. And then on the other hand, it's a picture of a white woman with a black fist face painted onto her face, which is the, um, the symbol of the religion that is Black Lives Matter, or the faith, the, the, the theists, or the, the, yeah, the religion. I think the religion's good. It's a, it's a sect. It's a, um, it's a denomination or it's a sect. I don't know if the, I would consider it a sect of the progressive religion or a, um, a, a denomination. I'm not, I'm not quite sure of that one. I'll, I'll, I'll come back with that in, on a separate video. I need to just go into that idea a little more. And I also have a playlist about Black Lives Matter. But anyway, so um, <laughs> that thing, it's just indicating that these are religious things to these people. These are people signifying and virtue signaling to other people that I am one of you. I This is my belief system. These are a set of beliefs. These symbols themselves are kind of shorthand to signify to other people who share that similar kind of thing that I am one of you accept me or if you are not part of me i don't want to deal with you it's it's a selective it's discriminatory and i am not even against discrimination i'm against discrimination for certain reasons but if it's a thing where people choose to actually join a certain ideology and it's something they have choice in i'm like yeah you should dis you should discriminate if you choose to hit your kids i want to be able to discriminate against you i want to be able to go to a school and be like i don't have to send my kids here because this school says this and this to my kids and thinks it's okay to hit my kids. You should be able to discriminate from those kind of people. You should be able to discriminate. You shouldn't force people to do things. So I'm for discrimination. So in this situation, when people are discriminating and saying, by me wearing this outfit, by me wearing this piece of jewelry, by me speaking, if, if I speak English, I'm discriminating against all the other languages that are out there. Anyway, so there is a discriminatory process here, and that's just what I'm talking about, that it is a religion, it is a faith, it is something that you're signifying. And I was reading these different comments as has been going on in the last week with this, uh, with the fallout from the George Floyd death. You have some people, again on the political right, normally the ones who come out with this, even though there's a lot of people on the political left, I have a separate video about this also again, with the whole Christianity thing, this, I think it's like 60% of the people who identify as political left actually also identify in the United States of America as um, Christian, and especially with like the black community, which is the biggest biggest most regular voting bloc in the United States of America and they vote Democrat almost religiously pun intended and they are almost all they have the highest percent of Christians in the United States of America so anyway uh, you have you have that happening there and so you have some people saying like oh no no this is, this is not true this is this is this is false this is this is a lie this is a thing that that is completely pretend this is this a setup like why would you people would be making this up this is just a stage to have other political reasons and things like this and then you still believe that the Jesus story the story in the Bible Christianity th those those actual beginnings didn't have any also political or other external benefits for people to tell that story as it actually happened. Even when you have the four different Gospels, which have di differing stories about what was going on, some of them have a situation where like a lot of other tombs and people rose from the dead during that time of Jesus' uh, resurrection. Some people have a body in a tomb, some people don't. This, 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 some, some, some of the books, I mean, some of the Gospels. So you think that is legit. That is completely fact. There's, there's, no, there's no people messing things up. There's no, over those thousands of years, there hasn't been people who have decided, let's use this. Or even at just at the origin. That was completely legit. You can take that as closer, even stronger than eyewitness like testimony. Even though there was no eyewitness testimony in these things. But you're going to take that as complete fact, as gospel, 
but then you go to trust us. That just makes me, that's this experience of just how our minds do this thing. We compartmentalize things where we're not really too consistent with what we consider logical. People see certain things and believe it for certain other external reasons. What are your external reasons for holding George Floyd, George Floyd's death, to a higher level, a higher standard of skepticism than your own belief system? Like, what is the cost-benefit analysis? What would it cost you to actually believe that this policeman actually was involved, was primarily involved with the death of this person? You don't have to believe the racism part. You don't have to believe any, like, a targeted or anything. You don't have to believe what he did was illegal. You just believe that that, that actually happened. Like, it just happened like we saw in the video. Like, this person, kneel, Nalto, was kneeling on the back of the guy's neck. Whatever was happening with George Floyd, whatever. Like, the person's like, George Floyd is actually dead. Like, these people were saying, he's not actually dead. Like, there's no body. There's no, I mean, I'm like, wow, like, this is, this is crazy. Like, why do you just accept that? And then on the other hand, why are there people who just, like, they, 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 they like, okay, yeah, all these other things about Jesus and this, it's for other people's benefit. They want to use this as a structure. There's, there's this whole edifice that actually benefits from people believing that the Jesus story was the way it is and that this is good and we should donate money to this and we should support this. Those people on those side, they just can't, they can't understand why people are like, well, that's not racist. That just happened. Like, it's not institutionalized racism. That's a bad thing that happened, but we're not buying all these other things. Just like I can say, like, I think the story about Jesus was based on somebody that actually exists. Nazareth actually existed. I just don't believe he was born of a, conceived from a virgin. I don't believe he rose up to heaven. I don't believe he was a, a God-made human. I don't believe that stuff. But I believe this was based off of some. I don't believe the miracle. But people are like, no, 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 no. You have to believe everything. So there, there is this kind of situation. And I, I, I just thought this was this was a good thing to kind of just, it was a thought that came to me. And the, the two things, I mean, this is something I'll expand on later. But you're already seeing the Jesus thing, this messianic figure story. That is a very common thing. When Christians come and they say, well, but Jesus is so unique. There is nothing unique about that story. Like, there's other gods, other systems that you can see it was borrowed for. But just in general, that whole messianic figure that's used as a symbol for other people, that is a thing that happens. Hands up, don't shoot. That whole Mike Brown incident, that has been proven to actually not... I mean, all the, the evidence is showing that never happened. He never said that. But that's something that's still being said because it's a symbol. He was a symbol. He's just somebody being used currently now. George Floyd himself... With Jesus, like the story of Jesus, what is like what a a fifteen to twenty year gap where nothing is known about this person. Short little aside here, I had been seeing reports about uh, Donald Trump saying that George Floyd was looking down from heaven and he would be happy about his, about the jobs numbers because apparently three million uh, jobs just came up. I just watched the Rose Garden address of Donald Trump talking about this is June fifth of twenty twenty, and there'd been I think forty five million jobs lost during the time when the uh, coronavirus shutdown. And this is the government was shutting things down. I don't believe government caused jobs. When Obama was like, "Oh, you didn't build that," I was like. Well, Wait, wait, wait. You didn't build that either, Obama. The government didn't build this. Government gets in the way of jobs. Just like in the coronavirus shutdown, it was the government coming around telling people they couldn't work, and that resulted in jobs being dropped. It's the regulations that they have that results in jobs being dropped. So if the government is coming out of the way and the private sector and other people are getting jobs back, I think that's a positive thing. But people are using this to mock him. He didn't even say it in the actual speech. This must have been the questions after. I didn't watch the questions after. The speech itself was good politically, just for as a political speech and what it is. But this whole thing, let's talk about that whole thing. Do people excoriate other people when they say, this person is in heaven looking down at this? When Paul Walker had died, this is the guy in Fast and Furious, Vin Diesel went on stage and gave a really passionate speech that was cheered, talking about Paul Walker is in heaven looking down on us, Fast and Furious has done this about family, and I like the Fast and Furious movies for what they are again. But nobody was like, how many people were like, ah, oh, that's stupid. You think Paul Walker is in heaven looking down and he cares about this anymore? He doesn't care. But yeah, Paul Walker would care. If he was in heaven doing that, he would care about Fast and Furious. It's something he cared for. So you're telling me George Floyd wouldn't care about the black community get, getting jobs, about the United States of America? Didn't he like America? Did he like POC? So what are you talking about? This is a very regular thing. It's a very regular thing in the black community. A lot of people in the black community talk about their relatives looking down. A lot of people in all communities, ancestors looking down. So if you are somebody who excoriates all of that, who just says all of that, I don't believe that stuff. I don't believe that stuff. I don't think there's evidence for all that. And I say it across the board. 
But I'm not going to point it out that, oh, when Donald Trump says it, he's just being disingenuous and using this as a thing. But then when other people say it, it's completely okay. Eh, whatever. It's politics. This is what happens. People do that. But let's get back to the whole Jesus and that missing time. What was he doing during this time? Would it matter to Christian to Christians if they found out he had like all these girlfriends and he broke up with this person, he fathered a child? I guess if you fathered a child, then you had that whole like Da Vinci code kind of story of a different family and you know? that. But anyway, when you found out he was doing all these things, he was like a drunk or he he's doing all these things, he was he was protesting these things back in the time, during that time, during those missing years of Jesus, would that change your actual idea of what Jesus is? But anyway, so this is the George Floyd thing. If it matters that George Floyd was involved in all this crime and he was doing all these drugs and you find out he was doing all these other things, and would that change what happened to George Floyd? To me, I'm like, no, this still happened. What happened still happened. It still was supposedly something that led from the main action of him having a $20 bill that was forged. Now, did he know it was forged? I don't know, but the actual thing happened. That policeman did kneel on his neck. There was three other policemen who were watching. There was two other policemen who were kneeling on his body. There was another policeman who was there watching. That actually happened, regardless of the background with George Floyd. But taking this man and making a messiah out of him, making him some sort of symbol for this greater movement, just the same way that Jesus was made for this greater movement. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine living in a country where crucifixions are actually legal? We well, have a situation where somehow, it was, it was even a George Floyd situation, where enough people had been caught, where George Floyd was just apprehended by the police, by the, by the security forces, by whatever enforcement agents existed at the time, in a completely peaceful and acceptable manner. He was put on some kind of stage or in some kind of location by the mayor or whatnot, and then the the, the populace came by and said, like, yeah, he's, he's doing this, like, leave it to this, we're deciding, and then he gets crucified. Is crucified, literally crucified in public with two other people. One of them was just like a thief, crucified. What, what would the reaction be to that? What kind of society, what kind of culture is that? And would that crucifixion, would that actual implement be something that would inspire people? It's just, history is a weird thing. If you actually understand history, you will realize that despite the many bad things that are going on right now, this still is, from what I've known about history, the best time to be alive. And the United States of America, from what I see in the world today, and historically, is also one of the best places to be alive. Regardless of the crap things that happen. Can it get better? Yes. Is it getting better? I also think so, yes. So, yes, we should focus on the bad things. Focusing on the bad things is part of why things improve, because we don't allow the bad things to happen again. But I just implore you that please... Can we base this on a level of skepticism and evidence that is actually worthwhile building some of these actually things on? Let's not just turn things into myths and fables, because when you build things on these questionable bases and foundations, then any positive thing that comes from that can later on be torn down, or some of the things that you think are positive will turn out to just not be so because you're basing them on premises that just do not they're just not sound. They're just not real. So that's just my thoughts. This part of the shorty series where I expand on short thoughts and I engage you with these videos and post them in places. And I thank you for taking your time to come listen. There's links below to a merchandise store. Also one-time donations on PayPal. Let me know what you think about this. Um, do you believe what's actually come out? Do you think we have a situation where enough people can actually give good information out? Do you think people care? How many people actually care about this? What percentage? Because there's different stories coming out about what was actually the primary cause and reason for this man's death. Was it the $20 bill? Was it the people calling the police? Was it him not entering the car? Was it all the supposed comorbidities, like with the pandemic, because they were done by the comorbidities, somebody's a certain age, a certain risk factors, and has all these other diseases, then gets infected with the actual virus, and then they die, and then they say it was the virus, but then was it really the virus, or was it all these other things? Are we counting this in the right way? Are we not? Should we count this as this? And you see that kind of thing that ha happens. That happens when it's a virus, when it's something that's just completely none, pretty much not even alive. We that's Those are the questions. But then when you involve something like this with all these different mixing pieces, is it because he lived in a predominantly Democrat area? 
because that place is predominantly Democrat. I think it's actually black American ran Democrat place for quite a while from most of the top positions of government. Is it their fault? Are they the ones who set up the system for this to happen? Is it uh, Senator Klobuchar's fault for not being more harsh on Derek Chauvin, who was actually involved in this thing he, before, and then she didn't actually supposedly persecute to the full length of the law? Is it police unions? There's so many different things that can come into these things that make people question. But then, main thought with this one, turning certain figures into messiahs of sorts based on spurious to to no evidence or evidence against them actually being these messianic figure that you actually think is a common thing that we do. I hope we stop it because there's enough problems in the world and in the world without making things up. And if we don't make things up and focus on the actual problems, we can find the better solutions that are actually more effective that last longer that make life better for all of us. Till next time, goodbye.